here we've got Kirkland's freestyle. Get him moving through. Uh, we do have a pretty wide stance in those feet. I would like to see you be a little bit narrower. Think about the uh, block having a center line and your left foot being at, on the very left side of it and then your right foot being on that back right hand side of that line going down the center. Um, that will help as we watch you kind of go forward through the start. We do have a little bit of a crossover between those ankles right at that point in time. We want to make sure you're really flexed through those uh, feet and toes and your legs so that you can keep those legs going straight back behind you. As we see you going for your breakout, it looks pretty good. Looks like timing's fairly okay. Uh, you've got a fairly regular beat on that kick, but we've got a little bit of a pause in there. Really think about kicking through as we back you up here. We see that we've got both eyeballs coming out. We want to make sure that as you're reaching out in front, you're able to rest your head just right on that line. Right now you've got it so that it's up a little bit more. We want to make sure that you're able to just kind of relax as you're going to breathe. Uh, really work on trying to get that further extension that's going to help you with that ability to rest your head on your arm as you're going through that breath. As we go through the turn, doing a pretty good job of getting uh, around. I think we can do an even better job of getting tucked up better and not opening up. You're opening up pretty early, which is why I see your feet hitting about at the metal part of the wall, and then you don't get nearly as good of a push as you should there for your breakout. Another thing with getting onto that side and really extending out in front, it's going to help you uh, push through the back end of that stroke, so you're going to get a much stronger finish in your stroke. As we watch you go in for the finish here, a um, little kind of goofy, you're finishing, I know, on that right arm, which is good, but then you're also taking that extra left arm pull. You're not needing to take that left arm pull if you're going to finish on that right arm, but you really just got to work on trying to know where you're at so then you know when to finish your stroke and not uh, when to recover for an unnecessary recovery. Nice job, Kirk. Here is Kirkland's freestyle underwater. See him coming in, got some good dolphin kicks. We see a lot of resistance right there from his head being up. Those eyes are focused forward versus being down. So make sure you get that head tucked on your streamline so that you can cut through the water a lot better. As we see you going to break out, you've got the one arm that's trying to swim up there and then the other one's already going through that pole. You have a ton of resistance going on both of those shoulders. So we want to make sure you're being a little bit more patient before you're starting your breakout. We'll slow things down just a little bit and back you up here. As we see you going along, we've got a lot of bubbles right there on that uh, hand. As we look at that right one, you've got kind of the same right there. That means we're really not quite extending as far out as we need to. You're getting right into that pull. We can see as soon as that left hand is entering the water, you're already pulling down. We want to make sure as soon as you are entering the water, that you're getting a little bit further extension forward. Really think about rolling the elbow over and your shoulder over towards your cheek so then you can get in the high elbow catch there and then push the water straight back from there. Kind of speed things up a little bit, watch you go into your turn. Fairly solid kick, you do have a little bit of a crossover there. Uh, turn is pretty good, you are coming up very quick. We want to make sure that you are getting a little bit more depth so that you are getting a little bit further out. You want to be able to try and break out past the flags every time you push off the wall. That way you don't have to swim nearly as much. As we see you going in for the finish here, uh, you are finishing incredibly flat. So make sure you're utilizing your body's length by getting on your side and really reaching for that wall. That'll help you work on beating some people who don't have that attention to detail. Nice job.